ऑनरेबल मेंबर्स विथ चेंजिंग टाइम्स एंड इवॉल्विंग टेक्नोलॉजी मेथड्स एंड प्रोसेसेस ऑफ एम्प्लॉयमेंट एंड बिजनेस आर ऑल्सो चेंजिंग माई गवर्नमेंट इज कॉन्स्टेंटली वर्किंग टू एंश्योर द प्रिपेरनेस ऑफ यूथ ऑफ आवर कंट्री फॉर सच चेंजेस माई गवर्नमेंट इज मेकिंग एफर्ट्स टू आइडेंटिफाई टैलेंटेड स्पोर्ट्स पर्सन्स फ्रॉम डिफरंट कमर्स ऑफ दिस कंट्री अंडर द यूथ सेंट्रिक खेलो इंडिया प्रोग्राम ट्रांसपरन्सी इन सिलेक्शन प्रोसेस हैज बूस्टेड द मोरल ऑफ आवर स्पोर्ट्स पर्सन्स द रिजल्ट इज रिफ्लेक्टेड इन द नंबर ऑफ मेडल्स ओन बाय अस एट नैशनल एंड इंटरनैशनल लेवल्स Our daughters are making remarkable contribution in every field today and have brought laurels to the country it is for the first time since independence that the policies and programs of the government have created numerous new opportunities for enterprise for women and led to their empowerment and economic mainstreaming under the pradhan mantri mudra yojana the maximum benefit has been availed by women out of the 15 crore mudra loans provided so far throughout the country 73% have been disbursed to women entrepreneurs under the din dayal antyoday yojana about 6 crore women have become members of self help groups my government has provided loans worth more than rupees 75000 crore to such help self help groups this amount is two and a half times more than the loans given in the four years preceding 2014 para in order to ensure the participation of women entrepreneurs in small and medium enterprises it has been made mandatory for the major government companies to purchase at least 3% of their material from the enterprises owned by women entrepreneurs my government is also making efforts to address the problem of gender based discrimination faced by women in different spheres last year a decision was taken whereby women officers recruited under the short service commission in the armed forces would be considered for permanent commission through a transparent selection process just like their male counterparts women who had been deprived of employment opportunities in the underground mining sector even after so many years of independence will now be given equal opportunity to work in this sector to enable working women to devote more time towards the up bringing of their new born children during their crucial formative years the government has enhanced maternity leave from 12 weeks to 26 weeks despite the scorching sun heavy downpour snowfall or any other challenge the hard working farmers of our country have toiled day and night to produce record food grain harvest there has also been an increase in dairy and fish production as also in other areas many of you have witnessed village life and the struggles of the farmers our farmers are not only the foundation of our economy but they also keep our traditions alive